and let's do the warm up. Turn the palm, drop the elbow, turn the palms again, push forward, and as the arms go down, bring the chin down. Ready? Let's go for the next one. So bring left hand down, turn the right palm, and look at the fingers, and turn your neck a little to the right, and then to the middle. Ready, now the shoulders. Deep breath. Mm -hmm. And roll forward. Ready, cross hand, cross wrist, cross wrist. Ready, and bring it around. One, inhale, exhale, and then inhale. Drop shoulders, drop elbows, drop wrists. Inhale. Inhale. Now, hold the ball like this. Turn. And then turn the ball around and turn to your left. Remember, you want to try to turn the body as one. In other words, turn the waist so the waist moves the hand. Yes. And then push the arm. Oh. That's it. So your navel and your nose, right? They should be aligned at the same time. And then turn it around. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it to the middle, bring it down. Now the next one, okay, which is also for the spine. It's as if we're holding a ball like this. Where does this go? The top hand is in front of the chest, right? The bottom hand is kind of where your navel is here. Ready? So you go forward, up, turn, palm, bring it up. And the other hand is by the waist. But it's nice and bent a little bit. It's not straight. So you push up a little bit there. Feel the stretch in the spine and then hold the ball again. Palm to palm. Bottom one up, 
Turn the hand, block the sun. There. And hold the ball. Bottom one up. Turn the hand. Block the sun. Again. Hold the ball. The one good thing to remember is that the tip of the thumb, try to align it so it's in the middle of the forehead there, see? And then it's up, right, that's right, the tip here. And then hold the ball, let's do it again. Ready, go. There. And then bring it here again. Bring it up. Stretch the spine. Hold the ball. Good. Ready, and bring it down. Now the hip, I'm gonna work on the hip. So bring the arms a little to the back and then place the heel right forward. So as the arms go up shoulder width, bring the foot back where the toe touches the ground. So it's heel, heel, and then toe. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Heel. Toe. Okay, ready? Switch. Heel. So. Heel. So. Heel. So. Heel. So. Okay, ready? Next exercise, which is also for the hips. I'm going to push to the side and step out. And then bring it back, palm to palm. Step out. Bring it back, palm to palm. Step out. 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 Palm, step up. Palm to palm, bring it down. Close both hands. There's a very light pressure on the any here, almost on your thigh here to the side. Ready, but comfortable. Now lift the knee up. Ready. Hit with the heel, and the opposite hand does this. Bring it back. Lift the other knee up, not too high, and just with the heel, this hand forward. Lift. 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 Then lift. Now, with the toe, like pointing with the toe, back, lift, there, lift, point with the toe, lift, up, lift, lift, toe. Lift, toe, lift, toe. Good, bring it back. Okay, so that was for your knees, right? We did exercises for the knees. And now these are Tai Chi warm up exercises that I have. And also, what we're going to do now is the ankle. So from here, we're going to do heel toe. And then little toe, big toe, side to side. Just do the best you can, you know, even if your arms and your legs can't uh, do the full function of the movement, just do even a little bit will help. Here we go, little toe. 
And if you can't do it at all, then just visualize that you're doing it. And that will help also. So, and then I decide. Side. That's it. Side. We also, some of us also have a weak side, right, to our body. So, in, for example, in my case here, this is the, the right side is my weak. So I can't, you know, bring it all the way out. So I just do as much as I can. And sometimes I might have to even help the leg out. Sometimes I do this, I bring it to the side, I lift, just to get that ankle moving, right? Like that. Like that. Right. Good. Ready? So that's a warm up. And then open close. Mm, say hi to everyone. Hi. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Remember the good thing about these classes are recorded. So if you missed a few sessions, thanks to the MS Foundation, you can go online and you can see whatever class you might have missed. Like this, relax a little bit. And let's learn here. That's right. Just the veins, the muscles, everything is turning, everything is moving. That's it. So that was the warm up. And I usually, my class that I usually do is a little bit of warm up, right? Tai Chi warm up. And then I do some uh, Qi Gong, right? Qi energy, Gong, the work of energy. So it's like a, uh, a type of Chinese yoga, if you will. <laughs> so let's, ready? Cross, turn, with lots of energy, massaging the organs, muscles, open up, bring it in again. Ready? Cross, turn, open up. Open, bring it down. Cross, turn the wrist, open up. There, cross, turn, open it, there, and bring it down. Ready for the next one? Yeah, there's a hundreds, hundreds of, of Qigong movements, um, and I like to choose ones that I know are easy and that work very well. So the, here, your right hand is looking at the earth, the left hand is going to push against the air. But as one of the principles of Tai Chi is, is that you turn so the posture is good. You're moving slow, even, and continuous. The movement, try to make the movement come from the core or part of what they call the Dantian. Here we go. Turning, moving as one. So the bottom one, sliding against the water. The top one, pushing against the air. But it's all done together. And one, one, another one of the uh, Tai Chi principles is moving with a gentle resistance as if moving inside water or inside space. Or in, so it's really just visualize. Everything is slow, even, and continuous. Gentle resistance, but really in water. See how good that feels? Just visualizing that gentle resistance. And that also increases the chi, which is great. Here we go. Ready, bring it down. And let's do this one. Back of palm touch. Inhale. Let it go. Exhale. Ready? Back of palm touch. Go. Inhale. 
taxi. Inhale. Inhale, open up, drop shoulders, relax. Let's do one more Qigong before we start with the Tai Chi. This one, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to close the other hand, put it by the waist, and I'm going to turn almost looking back, but very gentle, not too much, and then bring it back. So both hands are closed. I'm pushing with one, and I'm turning, for example, in this case, I'm turning to my left, looking to the back, and then I close the hand, bring it back here. Let's do the other one. Open the hand as I push forward, but not all the way. And then I bring it back. I look back or just a little bit to the side and then close both hands, push forward, look back. Bring it to the middle. Perfect. Okay. Bring it down. Open, close, relaxing. So in my classes, you could see it's a mixture of Tai Chi, uh, a mixture of some exercises and a mixture of Qigong, all that will benefit you, sitting or standing. Okay, so now let's do the Tai Chi. It last, um, last year, I was focused on the Sun style, S-U-N. Now this, this time, this year, we're gonna work on the Yang style, and that's spelled Y-A-N-G. So there are several types of Yang styles. There are it's by number. There's yang styles that are seven movements, you know, 24, 108. So we're just going to work on just basic movements, not exactly the sequence, but just the movements of the yang style. We'll do a little bit of a short sequence. So just follow me just for fun. Ready? So remember how we sit a little bit, a bit at the edge, the heels a little bit behind the knee, butt shoulder width, hands by your side like this. And I'm going to do sitting, and then I'll do a little bit of standing for those of you that wish to stand, and then I'll sit again. Ready? So let's do the first movement, which is called the, the commencement, the commencement, which is like this. This is floating up like that. But shoulder height, and then drop it down like this. See? By my waist, right? Let's do it again. But shoulder level, not too high, and then drop. You could breathe, inhale, exhale. Now, what are we going to do next? We're going to hold the ball. Remember holding the ball? So I'm going to hold the ball. Like hold the ball. Very same holding the ball as you do in the warm up. Right, so let's do it again. We went from here and hold the ball. Same thing, bottom hand, right, by the navel, the top hand by the chest. And the space, there's always space underneath here, underneath here. Right, so let's do it again. So those are, for example, that was two movements. That was commencement, up and down, and holding the ball. So let's try that, just for fun. Ready? So this is one, two. So you see the beauty of Tai Chi, that there are circles all over the place we don't see. Where, where might there be a circle here? Well, there's a little circle doing this. I could do that, see that? With this hand, it's doing like a little circle. And this hand is going this way, like a circle. See that? So this time, we're going to do it again. Just visualize that little circle here, little circle there, and then you hold the ball. There. Let's do it again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to. Let's do it again from the beginning to that. Ready? One. Follow me. Hold the ball. And relax. Now remember, if we can't go with the arms all the way up because of our arms, there's pain or weakness, just, you know, if we can, just doing this is fine, even if it's just a little bit. So we can do one, and even holding the ball, we could do it just a little bit. Well, let's say we can only do one hand. So you do this as if holding the ball, like, see? Or this one, maybe this is the stronger one with the palm up. This is the palm up, and this is the palm down. Okay, so let's just do how we did at the beginning. Ready? And remember, if you can't do that, visualize. Here we go again. Inhale, exhale. Hold the ball. That's it. Those are the first two movements. Commencement, holding the ball. Now, this is the third one now. I want you to watch me first. Watch. The third one, the bottom hand goes out. And this one goes here. Goes back to the waist, right? Easy enough, right? So this goes out and then goes back down to the waist with the palm facing the earth. And the palm is a little bit out. It's a little bit up like this. So if you give you a side view, let me get a little bit of a closer view so you'll see a side view. I'll see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is this. See that? So I give you this side view. So you'll see it does this. There. It's about shoulder height here. A little bit there. And this hand is here. Like this. Like that. Okay? So if I turn this way and you have another view, it would look like it would go up, down, hold the ball. Right? And then go out. Like that. See that? Just bring it out. From the beginning, and by the way, in the yang form, in the yang form, all these movements are given different names. Some animal names, some names related to the animal, right? So in this case, this form here, this name, parting the wild horse's mane, right? You know the mane of the horse? Right? So this is like just pushing the mane aside, parting the wild horse's mane. All right? So let's do it from the beginning, just for fun. As you can see, it's like a little dance to do from the beginning. But these are all young movements from the young style. Ready? Here we go. Up. Commencement. Hold the ball. Parting the wall horse is mean. Separate. There. Now let's hold the ball again. How do we do that? Just turn the right hand forward, and the other hand's going to hold the ball and bring it back here. Let's do that again. From here. Turn the palm and then hold the ball in the middle again. See, I bring it back here. Now the other side will do the same thing. So this is going out like on a slant, same thing. And this one goes by the waist. So it does this. There. See? And bring it down. From the beginning, again, two parting while horses main, which is a lot already for the first day, right? But let's do it just for fun. We're going to go one side, we're going to hold the ball, and then we're going to open up the other side from the beginning. Ready? Nice and slow. Beauty of Tai Chi is a nice and slow motion, and it's like a meditative movement. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the ball. Parting the wild horse is main. One. Hold the ball. 
party, the war horse in Maine, on the other side. And bring it down. Now, with Tai Chi also, it's good to move the core, right? Move the core from here for the Dantian. So when we do it again, I want you to think of turning a little bit as you're moving. See, as this arm goes out like on a slant, with the palm up a little bit, and you're turning, and you're looking at this hand, you're looking at the hand. Ready? From the beginning. Here we go, just for fun. And if you only do one arm, one hand, low, it's fine. Hold the ball. Parting the wall horse with me. Turning. Looking at the hand. One. Bring it back to the middle so the waist goes to the middle. Hold the ball. Parting the wall horse with me. This one. There. Hold the ball again. Let's part the wild horse's mane again the other way. Let's go. So that's about three times parting the wild horse's mane. About three times. Okay. Relax a little bit. And also the hand is nice and relaxed. So you want to take pressure off your hand. A lot of times we have a lot of tension in our fingers. So you want to do is just relax the fingers, relax the fingers, right? So when you do this, the fingers are relaxed like that. See, nice and relaxed. And people might ask, well, but should they be flat? Should they be closed? And what I always usually see that usually helps, it's as if you're holding a softball. You know, the softball, which is the larger type for, uh, after the baseball. So it's, you. See how the hand relaxes because you have to do this when you're going to hold that, right? So it's relaxing. So when you do that, the hand is like that. See, a little bit closed, but relaxed. So there's no, no tension on it. And also the shoulders. A lot of times what happens when we do this movement is that we're too tense. And that's okay at the beginning. And that's part of working with the principles, working with you as we go on week, week to week, week to week and your body will eventually just be one big relaxation. So let's work on, and that's without even mentioning the principles. In Tai Chi, there are many principles, and there are too many to cover in one class. So sometimes if we do a principle in one class, we do another principle in another class. Uh, in this case, as you can see with the movement, it's slow, one of the principles is slow, even, and continuous. So it's slow, even, but you don't stop and continuous. So you might ask, well, how high is it? It's about shoulder height. Okay. See? Again, if there's too much pressure with your arm or if it's too weak, you could just bring it low. All right. So let's start again from the beginning and let's work on that slow, even, and continuous relaxation. Here we go. From the beginning. Bring it down and relax. Good. Just relax the shoulders. Hope you enjoyed the first couple of movements of the Yang style that we're doing. Now, let's see with the legs that I always work on sometimes the legs, right? So if you can, you know, you lift a little bit and then you do this. You lift and then you push it to the side. You drop it, bring it to the middle, lift. It's like opening up to the hip, the hip. Love doing this. Always opens up the hip, especially if we have spasticity, which happens a lot with MS, right? Or the tightness. So this is a good way of just, you know, opening up, opening up. Like I was saying before, in my case is the right leg, right? So it's always good that I just open up, bring it back, 
even if it's a little bit. Yeah, and then the other side here. And then I can also go around a circle one, two, three, and then the other leg. Right. And then just open up one, two, and three. Good. Take a deep breath. Roll your shoulders back again. Ready? Bring it up. Bring it down. Breathe. And just open up. And bring it back. Ready? Bring it up again. If you can, if you can't go that high, that's okay. Bring it down, open up, breathe, bring it back. Again, up, down, open up, and back. Now, I'm gonna stand to give you an idea of what the beauty of it also, of what it looks like standing. And I'll give you a front view, I'll give you a back view just to give you an idea of what it looks like in design style. Because some other things happen to the feet when you're standing. So when I'm here, you just lift up the left heel, step out, and then you do this. See, same thing here. Then I hold the ball. Ready, step. One. And let's bring it back to the middle. Hold the ball again. Transfer the weight, very small step. And then I just open up. Two. Bring it back to the middle. Hold the ball again. Check your posture, your balance. Transfer the weight, small step. Three. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very small movement and relax. I'll give you a back view now so you see what it looks like. Ready? From here, I'm going to step up. Lift up the left heel, step out. Hold the ball. Transfer the weight. Small step. And watch the balance about 60 40, right on both legs. And then Hold the ball, transfer the weight, small step, go. Two, I'm turning a little bit, bring it back. Hold the ball, transfer the weight, small step. There, and bring it back. Good. So I hope I've given you enough detail so you can sitting or standing, you know, when you look at this video, you can practice. Right, you can practice. Good for the leg, good for the muscles, good for the arm. Another thing I wanted to mention about Tai Chi is that I use what's called a Tai Chi ruler. You can order it on Amazon um, as well, and it looks like this. Give you an idea what it looks like. It looks kind of like this. See that? It's called Tai Chi ruler. So this type of thing, um, you put it on the energy center on the palm. There's energy centers in the palm. They call it the low gun, right? And so what you do is you put one here and you put one on the other, almost at the center of the palm. And what I use this for is to do little things like just circle it. See, I see a lot of circles. If you move your shoulders, it's called Tai Chi ruler. That's the, what's the name of it, right? The Amazon, I think, has it, eBay. You know, it's just, it's just like, I don't know the price, but it's not expensive. You can do like little circles like this I do with it. And then I do a little, and there are my, uh, on the website that I have, I do exercises with it. So you can always log on there and, and follow me doing it. So this is just to give you an idea of things you can do with that when you, when you get it, see? So you notice how the waist turns, the ruler turns, and then if you can, you put it in the back, and then you bring it forward. These are just two or three little things. There's a lot more. But I wanted to give you an idea. You can also work on your grip as you squeeze the ruler and you turn it. So it works on the wrist as well. Very nice little Taiki tool. And if you know enough people get it in these classes, we can use it as part of the class.
Um, in Tai Chi, what is in Tai Chi also? Tai Chi uses a fan. Just to give you an idea, just to give you a, an explanation of what also Tai Chi has to offer. Uh, no matter where you are, you want to take Tai Chi, you'll see some of these things uh, that are offered. The fan. And I use the fan a lot of people to help the dexterity with the hand, like just to open it, just to open it. You can use your hands to grip and it helps you open it. And then when you come pretty good at opening and close it, then you have to like open and then bring it up a little bit. So little things like this. See that using the wrist, using the wrist. And there's a form that you do with the fam also. There's a little form. And I'll give you a little demonstration of what I mean. Um, let's see. So you start here, just to give you an idea of the beauty that Tai Chi has to offer as well. Bring it out. See, so you can still do like the Yang form we were doing, except using the fan. Using the fan. See, so you can still use the form and the fan. Okay, to so give you an idea of little things that are in Tai Chi, it's so nice to do. And of course, the ball. There are um, also balls in Tai Chi that they're soft like this or they're hard like wood. And there are movements that you do with these balls that you do, that you turn like this. And then you go circle, turn, then you turn. Right, you bring it up, down. So it's like little Tai Chi movements or like Goon style type of movements that you do this, do the circle. And you can use these things too. Okay, so, okay. all right, ready? Nice and slow, let's go back to the Qigong. Let's interlock our fingers, ready? And if you're standing, you can do it with also or sitting, and then go around. Two, three. And switch. One, two, and three. Okay. There. Other way again. Sitting. Ready? One, two. Now, notice that when I'm doing this, is it just my arm or my waist is helped to take my arm as well? You see? Like this. See that? Two. And if you can't go all the way up, you could just do little ones like this. One. But just move the weight. And talk about the weight. Let's also move the weight like this, going in a circle. Remember, I always do this in every class, right, to get the weight going. And then if you're standing, if you're moving, that's right, side to side. Two. Three and switch. Breathing. Two and three. Good. Let's sit back down. And our fingers too. Fingers. We use a lot of fingers. So down. And let's do the count with the fingers. So you do one. See how the thumb meets the pinky? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, open up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Open up wide, close tight. Open up wide, close tight. There, there. Open and close, open and close. And then let's do this one. See the sides of the palm meet and then bring it in. Right, so it looks like this from here. Bring it in and bring it down. You now it turns and then the sides meet. Sides meet and then bring it in. It turns again. 
and then I keep touching the side like that. Right? So here we go again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, and just for fun, do the other way. So we bring it out. One, still touching. Turn it, bring it in, two. That's it, three. Ready? Interlock the fingers and work on the wrist like this. That's it, turn it, turn it. Mm -hmm. Turn. And let's open up the chest if we can. So it's one, see the elbows down, two, and then two bigger ones. One, two, so it's two close ones, one, two little ones, two, open up, one, two, that's it. One, two, open up, one, two. Two small ones, two bigger ones. What else could we do for the shoulders? Here we go. Up, and this massages this whole section here where your lymph nodes are. So we're going up one. Remember, if you can't go all the way up, even this is fine. One, two. And just the idea is just to visualize that you're going back with both arms. One, two, going back. One, two. Now let's do open and close. This is very particular to the soon style. So remember, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going, right? Inhale. Exhale. Through your nose if you can. And then let's circle one. Palms aren't touching, but they're very close to each other. Two and circle. Circular. Three. Ready, reverse. One. Two. Three. Open close. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's go here. You can try to feel the energy between the palms. As it slowly rotates one palm on top of the other. Almost touching. We could reverse it, do it this way. Nice and slow. We go up, down here, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, turn it around, same thing. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Push forward and down. Feel the energy from the earth into the palm. Deep breath. Bring it out. Give yourself the energy, slowly bring it down. And as you bring it down, visualize, relax the shoulders, relax the elbow, relax the wrist, relax the hand. Nice and slow. Bring it out. Closing the fingertips and by the clavicle, underneath the clavicle to the corner where there's a soft spot. Elbows a few inches up and then out. And down.
open up. Let's do it again. Ready? Up. Out. Back. Bring it out again. Open. Up. Down. And circle. One. Down a little bit. Two. Push with the bottom of your feet on the way up. I'm doing a circle coming up, pushing the bottom of my feet. Three, and then the opposite. One, two, and three. Open, close, breathe. And let's go back to the Tai Chi Yang style. Ready? So we start with our hands like this, fingers to the side, like that, the hands to the side. Ready? Posture, slow, even, and continuous. Arms up, arms down. Oh, I was doing the Sun style. My mistake, I do that so much. Let's go back to the Yang. Sorry about that. Let's do the yang. Ready? Here we go. From the beginning. Up. So this is like this. Up. Shoulder width. Down. Ready? Hold the ball. Grasping the bird. Here we go. No. Parting the wall horse's mane. I was already thinking of another movement that comes there. Up, hold the ball. Parting the wall horse's mane. Open up. Mm. Hold the ball. You're back to the middle. And then parting the wall horse's mane. Mm. See that? So remember, none of these movements are tense or they're locked. They're relaxed. They're I'm relaxed here. The shoulders are relaxed. So keep the shoulders down. Right, which means the elbows down, right? And then bring it to the middle. Let's do it again. From the beginning, just follow, just follow. And relax. Let's see what happens to the hand as we do this. Right? See the hand that's out here? It starts turning so that the palm faces down. So it goes this, the palm faces down, and I'm, I hold the ball on this side, and then I go. There. Turn the palm. Ready? That the palm almost meets the other one, and then just go this way, and you open up. Let's do that a few times. So we go side to side. Let's do a few of these. One. It's like holding the ball here. Two. So this time we're holding the ball here, see, on the corner, and then opening. Three. Go. Just glide along. Gliding along, cutting across the water. Man. So keep the shoulders down, the elbows down, and just move it. So you see what's moving here? A lot of things are moving. We have the waist, we have the shoulders, we have the shoulders, we have the elbow and the wrist. And this other hand is just down here. So you're moving the shoulders of this hand at the same time. Ready? Again, if we can't do this because it's too high, or we can only use one arm, we can also do just this. 
One, two, right, with the palm up, three. And the other side also, we could just, even if we could just do a little bit, we could do this. One, two, three. One hand, one arm, a little weaker. Just try what you can. Let's do it again from the beginning. Ready? This time, I'll go really slow. Feel the cheek and relax. Relax. Sit down again. Move the hand, move the arm. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. So do the spiral turn like here with the shoulder, like this. That's it. That's it. Like that. Just move the shoulders so that also the waist turns and the legs. Can't forget the legs. Here we go. One, two. What I do sometimes do is that I try to hold on if I can. I don't have enough strength to hold on, but if you can, you do this little pull. One, very small. Two, three, right? And then I might do the other side too. So it's one, very small. Two, three. And your ankles, you want to make sure the ankles, right? A little twirl on the ankle. Other side. The beauty, one of the beauties of Tai Chi is almost every ligament, every muscle is used, even if you're sitting, right? And that's the beauty of it. Ready? Let's push forward. Lean a little bit, bring it back to the corner. Push and bring it in. Middle, push. Turn the palm, bring it in. Middle. Turn the palm, bring it in. The corner, push. Turn the palm, bring it in. Middle. Corner. Ready? Here we go. Let's do the cool down. The cool down is usually done uh, towards the end of every class. Ready? And let's do that. Bring it up. One. Big circle. Two. Three. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Now, tense up a little bit. Lift up the heel and let go. A little bit of tension. Like that. Let go. And a little bit of tapping. A little bit of tapping. Nervous system. Like I had mentioned in a lot of my classes, tapping is an art in itself. That if you can find it on YouTube also, there are people who specialize just on tapping and the benefits of tapping. It's all there. I just like to use it. It helps me wake up the nervous system a little bit and just tapping, 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 circulation. And there are different points, just like acupuncture for tapping, right? There's a lung point for the lungs, there's some for the immune system, for the lymph nodes, all over, which is beautiful. And then just tap, 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 that's it, tap. Tap here. Of course, where there's no pain and please nice and soft, nice and gentle, ready? Rub the knees a little bit. The knees, good for the knees, right? So just rub a little bit, relaxing. 
Let's bring it up. And let's in rub right there your faces and then back alongside for the back of the neck. Touch the back and then gently bring it down. Ready, one more time. Here, back, touching the back, and let it go down nice and slow. Yeah. Open, close. And once again, same way we started, same way we get, right? Unity, humility, strength, all in one here. 